So in the last episode, you all voted for me to go to Zami after over 8,000 votes, beating out Vorkath. Zami is one of the four original God Wars dungeon bosses in the game, and up to now, I've been able to get the Zillana and Bandos pets at a very lucky 2393 KC and 1376 KC. This leaves me with two more God Wars bosses to get, not counting next for now, obviously we'll get that one later. All of the bosses in God Wars dungeon have a pet drop rate of 1 in 5,000, so hopefully we can be just as lucky at Zami and snag this pet. But welcome back to Pet Roulette, the series where I spin a randomly generated wheel of bosses two times so that you, the viewers, can vote on a poll to select which pet I go for next. At the start of this episode, I'm sitting at 26 pets in the game so far. Before we head over to Zami, let's talk about his drop table real quick. There is a chance to make a little bit of money here as Zami has a chance to drop the Zamoraki and Spear, Staff of the Dead, and Zamorak Hilt. While the Spear isn't as expensive as it used to be it's still worth about four mil at a rate of one and 128 to receive hopefully we can snag some of those however the staff of the dead and the zami hilts are a bit more rare sitting at a chance of one in 508 to get but they're a bit more expensive as well the zami hilt being the most expensive selling for about 25 26 million gp at the recording of this video thanks to the last chambers of zarek updates a little while back but obviously we're here for the pet mainly and luckily the pet is is all I need to green log and finish Zami completely as you can see with my collection log here on screen. Now the method I'll be doing is doloing. If you don't know what doloing is, basically I'll be playing on two accounts at once, where my main is the attacker doing the most damage to get the kill credit for the kill. And my alt's main purpose is to tank. I'll be trying out the mage attacker method here at the start with the max mage setup and shadow, while my alt is basically stacked up with full tank gear almost. My alt doesn't have the best stats but it'll get the job done either way also for those of you curious the last time that i was here doloing with my alt it managed to take away 24 kills away from the main and actually pulled a zami spear and a steam battle staff so let's hope that if it does snag a kill it doesn't take the pet I haven't, I haven't been on my alt account in like almost a year. When I logged into it, it had told me the last login was like 327 days ago, I think. Almost a year. And then I found out earlier today that the, the dolo method changed to uh, mage for the attacker or whatever instead of melee. Yeah, and let me check everything. Yeah, me or no, range prayage or blah, range prayer on the main. Mage pray, piety. Okay, cool. They won't let you finish Vorkath. I know, right? I thought that one win would win just because I have so many kills in there. Almost 5,000. I mean, if we somehow pull this pet, then we go to the Vorkath either way. But imagine. One in 5,000 chance here. If you don't know how Doloing works exactly, I'll show you how it's done. It's very simple. All it requires for you to do is pay attention to your alt's health and eat when needed. You just walk straight into the Zami room on the alt tank first. Once you have Zami aggroed on the tank, you then walk in with the main attacker and just start killing it. That's basically it. For Zami, Zami, it is important to make sure that you're praying magic and not melee, and the reason for this is because Zami has a special attack called Prayer Smash. It has a 1 in 9 chance to use this special attack instead of a melee hit, only if you're using Protect from Melee. It can deal anywhere between 35 and 49 damage, and it'll drain your current prayer points by half. However, as long as you're not praying melee, this won't happen, so just pray magic. When it comes to ending a trip, I just make my alt trade my main any drops that it got from Alking, and I'll keep the alt at God Wars just so I don't have to get kill count on it again, as it's much faster for me to get KC on my main. Also, I know I started out this video with uh, magic attacking for the, the main role, but I'm going to be switching back to melee. I don't know what it is, maybe I just had some bad RNG, but my magic attacker trip was like 30-40 minutes, and typically when I go to a melee attacker, my trips can last anywhere up to 3 hours. Oh my god, it's restore drops? It happened. <laughs> That's the drop. That's what we've been waiting for, <laughs> restore drops. Nothing else matters but restore drops. A rune sword? I swear, anytime I get like a rune sword anywhere, it just brings me back to um, fucking Nex. PTSD. I, I, one thing I definitely want to do, and I, I probably have a lot, lot of time to prepare, but I really do want to um, get my alt ready for Dolo Corp in the future as well. But I need way more... Well, well, one, I need better stats, and I need way better gear as well. Basically, I'm going to need, like, another an Ellie so both of my accounts can have it, plus Masori. You know, just the meta kind of thing for Doloing there. One day, one day. Ah, that's the wrong super drop. I need super restores.
Hey, there's some money. Zammy Spear. Hey, first one. Hey, making money already. I need it. I like money. Money good. That helps with the um the bond that I have to had to give my my alt. Oh my god, they exist. Super restores. It happened. Ooh, super restore drops. Let's go. Trip extended. That's what I like to see. Oh, that's not the right super potions, but we got 1,200 KC. 800 more KC to go until I'm happy with, the, you know, this video. Whenever I make it. I feel like that's at least a decent number of KC to go to. Coin drops, nothing said. Zammy Spear from a minion, please. Maybe. Never lucky, I swear. We got the one Zammy Spear, so that's, you know, it's something. We, we got we got something. All, right, all my alt got was 400k cash and uh, some lantern dimes. That's it. Not a bad trip. Five mil just because of the one Zammy Spear that we got, like, right at the start. I swear, every once in a while, these kills are brutal. Yo, Zammy Spear, though. Let's go. <laughs> Little more money. That's the second one today. I'll take it. Thank you very much. I think we're on right now for those. We take the money. Number two. I got a steam battle staff. Shit. That's the that's the wrong staff. That's the 60,000 gold worth one. I need the staff of the dead, which is 10 mil. That's a big difference right there. Uh-oh. Five rune javelins. That seems rare. Going to have to look up the drop rate for that. I feel like that's probably got to be like a 1 in 5k minimum. 1 in 5,002? Okay. That's not the worst drop that we've gotten here, though. We have seen two shield left halves and two dragon spears so far at Krill. So it's not the worst luck. Are you kidding me? I got another rune javelin drop? What the fuck? What is with Krill in my RNG? Can I just get the pet at this point? Two two shield lift halves, two dragon spears, and now two different chances of rune javelin drops? My Zami log is weird as... Or just my, my Zami look is weird as fuck. Oh, 1300 KC. Not lucky. Addy plate body. 9k alk, that's it. No pet, no spoon. Holy shit! I got it! No way! We got the fucking pet! We're done! Holy shit! 1305 KC! There's no fucking way! Holy shit! No fucking way that that just happened! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, I left the clan chat as, as well just before I got that. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my god, I can't believe I just got that. It looks so sick. And we got some food drops. That's a fucking amazing. I'm so glad that that didn't go to the uh, the alt as well. <laughs> Holy shit, we're done. We're done with Zami forever. I gotta teleport out of here. Look, there's guys outside. I don't know if they saw me got the pet or not, but that's amazing. That's such a sick ass pet too. Hold up. Oh my god, I'm gonna go stand out here. Wait, hold up. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Look how sick it is. <laughs> oh, man. That's awesome. That I can't I can't believe I just, I just got that. <laughs> Wait. I need a How do you whistle? Uh, how do you get it over here? I, I don't I don't remember what the thing was. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll just have him standing over there. <laughs> These guys just now. <laughs> That's awesome. I can't believe I got that. Oh, it's equipment whistle. <laughs> okay. Hey, we're done. <laughs> Spooned. These guys here witnessed. <laughs> that's sick. What? Shit, what am I going to use the alt for now? Man, that's literally like the last thing that it was like for, for doloing purposes. What is, What KC did we get it? 13.05? Oh, man. That's amazing. Now I just need Korean next. That's it. Oh, yeah, Corp. I, I need a dolo Corp as well. Okay, I got to prepare the alt for dolo Corp in the... Well, in the future or whatever. That's sick. I can't believe I just got that pet. Hold on. Wait, wait. Collection log. Hold up. Krill. Oh, it's green. It's green logged. 
<laughs> Holy shit. Oh, man. Wait, I got to take a screenshot of this as well. That's too good. No one in the clan knows either. I'm so glad that I left the clan chat right before that happened. That's hilarious to me. Oh, shit. Now I could go to Vorkath. Yo, now I could go to Vorkath. Vorkath is uh right here. Here we go. Imagine two pets. Imagine two pets in one video again. But look at that. Look how cool it is. Zammy Pit. That's awesome. 1305KC. I can't believe I spooned another God Wars pet. And the last one that I need, not including next, obviously, is Cree. We're at 2000KC for there as well. But this one, I can actually make so much more money, too. Those are like 40, 30 mil each for the armadillo chest plate and the skirt or whatever. That's neat. 27 pets. Oh, we've almost filled out this, uh, this little line as well, or this row. We just need Cree and then uh, Thermi. Okay, let's go to Vorkath. I think that's all I need, right? This is a, this is an old setup, though. Oh, but now we get to go for a couple pets here. Because the one thing that I like to do, the one thing I like to do, eat my angler and then steal from the stall for a rocky pet. Fuck, imagine if that just happened, though. That would have been amazing. Oh, no pet? What? Scammed. All right, first Vorkath KC 4926. A Vorkath in. Forgot about those. Wait, how many have I? I think that's like my 90th, 90th one, maybe. Not that it means anything. Oh, 91. Okay. 5,000 Vorkath KC. We get nothing. Collection log, unfortunately, remains the same. Now we're a thousand kills away from being two times dry for the pet and the jar. Never lucky. Appreciate the good RNG. Right here, right here. Man, 5,005 KC. Nothing. Lots of money, though. Coping. Actually, let's try this stall. I haven't. I don't think I've ever stolen from this stall. Nope. Okay. Uh oh. Whoa. The lag. Uh oh. I think my everything just DC'd. What the hell? Holy shit. I think my internet shut off there for a second. I don't even know if I'm still alive. Am I still alive? I think I'm still alive. That was weird as shit. My internet just like completely shut off there for a second. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I just lost all that shit <laughs> on the ground. Damn. Oh well. Unlucky. Surely uh, we, we get Rocky Pen now though. Damn. Ah, oh, Vorkath head. I saw red text. Look, a new PB, 51 seconds. Nice to see fast kills like that happen without even trying. Just happen to have some good RNG with the hits and Void Waker specs. Also, not a bad trip. Made just about 800k from this trip alone. Vorkath has maybe dropped in GP per hour over time, but it's still pretty decent. Another Vorkath head for the collection in the bank. Ooh, clue scroll. Hell yeah, elite clue. Always do your clues, guys. This makes for elite casket number 58 in the bank. Little milestone right here, 5.1 thousand KC at Vorkath, only 900 more kills away until I'm two times the rate for the pet and the jar since they're both one in 3,000. Rocky pet time? Never mind. Another elite clue, thank you very much. That's elite casket number 59. Let's go ahead and spin the wheel for the next pet roulette. Dagonoth Kings and Duke. The drop rates for these pets and my collection logs are on screen now, and the link to vote will be down below. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel now so you don't miss the next video. Vorkath head number like 93? Oh, sorry, 96. Vorkath head number 97. Surely pet by the time I get my 100th Vorkath head. 5200 KC. Nothing, not even a jar. Wait, a dragon bone necklace? What the hell? I haven't seen one of those in a long ass time. How much are these? 50k? That's my fourth one. I, I, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen one in like 3,000 kills. It's been a while. I was like, hold on, why is there three lines of text? That's not, that's not right. 
Elite clues are what keeps me going here at Vorketh, I swear, but I'll take it. Elite casket number 60. Only 40 more to go until I finally open them for 100. Oh, I messed up. I knew I messed up, damn it. I, I knew I clicked. Man, she, there goes all my loot. Anything today? Death. Another milestone for 5.3 thousand KC. Anyone got any guesses as to when I'm going to get this pet and or jar? Comment below. A spirit seed. The red text baited me for a second. You like the boost in this spot? Let me see. Oh, oh hold up. Let me not get killed by Vork yet. You're three and a half years uh, on only... Oh, God. Oh, God. See, this is why I don't read. <laughs> My loot. It's fine. Oh, Vorketh head. Wait, that's number 98? Two more for 100. Hopefully pet before I hit 100 Vorketh heads. Ah, uh, clue scroll. Okay, I'll take that. Shit, I did say I would turn that into a master. I'm two away from 1,000 masters on the uh, the high scores. Oh, I do have the clues already. We're good. Assuming I don't have any of these clues here at Watson, although I haven't been here in a while. Oh, I already had an elite and a hard clue right there? What the hell? Okay, so we get to do um, two masters here so we can hit a thousand. That worked out. I didn't know I had an elite or a hard clue there for probably over a year. Hey, there's the casket. Ooh, mimic. Let's go. Okay, okay. We'll see what we get. 85 mimic KC. 25 wine. I swear, Mimic hates me. It never wants to give me, like, third age. All right, Master Clue. This is going to be Master number 1,000. This is the last step as well. And this is my 1,000th Master Clue. We're going to open up our 1,000 Master Clue right here. Will we get third age, though? We're at 999. And now... A thousand. Only 500k? Man. <laughs> that would have been sick if I actually pulled any third age, right? That would have been kind of cool. I don't know what rank I am for the high scores, but that's still pretty cool for 1,000. Now I can start planning to see if I want to stack up masters again. Either like 500 master caskets, 1,000, a Mazen. I do want to do something like that, though. Sadly, we only got two bloodhounds and not three. Unlucky. Ah, 5,400KC. Still still not lucky. No pit. Or jar. Game, please. Don't make me go 2x dry for both of these. Forkath isn't too bad. It could be going very well if I get the pet right here on this kill. Exactly on this kill. Nope, okay. Oh my god, an elite clue. I heard my plug and it kind of baited me for a second, but it's just for an elite. Elite casket number 63. Oh yeah, let's see how much I made from Vorkath so far. Oh, about 42 mil. That's more than I thought. Not bad, at least. Hey, elite clue. Let's go. Number 64. Another elite clue. Number 65. All right, Vorkath. Love the elite clues. Number 66. KC milestone of five and a half thousand Vorkath kills without seeing the pet or the jar. Surely before 6k, right? But so far, I've made about 44.6 mil just from the drops alone, which is pretty nice. Out of all the pets in the game to go drive for, I have to say Vorkath is actually a good one for that to happen. Because you'll just make a ton of GP along the way. If I go like 10,000 drive for this pet, for example, I'll probably just end up making another bill or two. Breaking news. Jagex just released a brand new boss into the game called Scurious. This boss is meant to be a mid-level boss for those getting into bossing and the PVM scene in general. And and with this new boss comes a brand new pet called Scurry. And you all know that I have to try and go for this pet eventually. The drop rate for this pet is currently unknown as Jagex typically doesn't let players know drop rates for new content at least a couple weeks or so have passed by. It could be 1 in a 1,000, or it could be 1 in 5k for all we know, or even more. But I'll test out my luck and see how the boss is on day 1. Quick update, when I recorded this part of the video, the drop rate of the pet was unknown, but two days after release, a Jmod confirmed the drop rate is 1 in 3,000 for this pet. On top of that, for those people killing this boss in a group, keep in mind that only the MVP will receive a chance at getting the pet drop, so if you're hunting for this pet, I would recommend doing solos only. The boss is located in in Verox sewers and you can either join a public mass world or you can do a private instance which costs nothing. All right, let's see how easy this boss is for a max main in best in slot gear. I'm wearing max melee with the scythe and blood fury combo for heals. 
after a couple hits, it moves over to some cheese in three spots of the room, which kind of acts like God Wars. It'll heal itself, and you can actually eat from this cheese pile yourself every 10 minutes or so. So keep in mind that if you're a little bit, you know, under geared or under leveled compared to where I am, this could actually be pretty useful for you. After it eats some cheese and heals some health, it'll move over into the middle of the room and spawn about six giant ranch, which I'll assume I can just ignore i do know that when you get the rat mace weapon or any of the new weapons that come from this boss after getting its spine you can basically one tick one hit these things really fast and easy so i would recommend just focus on dpsing the boss itself looking at the collection log there's only two things to get here which is just the pet and the spine that i mentioned before according to crowdsourced information right now the spine is about a one in 33 chance to get so you should get these relatively quickly like i said you could turn these three spines into the NPC right outside the entrance of this boss lair and turn it into either the melee range or magic weapon for this boss. These things can only be used on rats and nothing else in the game. If you already have the three weapons, you can also turn these spines into the same NPC and actually just turn them in for XP lamps for combat skills only. Hey, there we go. We got the spine. Okay. I think this is one of the uh, common... I mean, it's really the only unique besides the pet. I think this is the thing that you can either use to turn into the weapons, I think. I got to look into it. Or you can turn it in for XP, which I kind of don't need. But that's neat. I just need the pet now. First impressions, I'm just over 140kc, and my trip's basically over for this one. Was able to get about 70 kills in this one single trip alone. Very fast, chill, and easy boss to kill. Not sure what the drop rate is for the pet, but I'm hoping it's no more than about 1 in 3,000. What? There's no way I just pulled that right after I end my stream. They're, what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> what? Why did I do that off stream? I just ended my stream like 20 minutes ago. I just wanted to get to 500kc. Oh, man. I kind of still want to get to 500kc, though. Let me do six more kills just so I can be even. But that's insane. Man. Okay. I mean, I'm happy for it. It's green logged already. Day one pet obtained. But man, that's that's pretty cool. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Well, let's let me get to 500 KC and we'll be done with this boss forever. I got myself to 500 KC just so it looks nicer on the high scores. And there's the rat pet right there looking kind of messed up, but we take it. But that means that now I have a total of 28 pets in the game. And we green logged a boss on day one. Come check me out on Twitch. Could be live right now.